Something I really like about my walk to the hospital is that I get to walk right alongside Patterson Park. It's just really safe, beautiful, they're always doing landscaping in there. One of the reasons I like Mount Vernon is because it feels very distinct from the medical campus. I like the feeling that when I'm home, I'm home. Have my car here, but that's mostly for going grocery shopping and stuff like that. So in terms of getting to campus, the shuttle covers all I need. At Hopkins, one of the first things you'll notice is there are no two people alike. No single backstory, no stereotype. Our family is as unique as Baltimore itself. The neighborhoods here are often referred to as a patchwork quilt. Each one unique and offers something different. But one thing shared by all, the longing for security, to feel safe at home. And nothing is more important to us than just that. From transportation and parking to housing and security, Johns Hopkins is committed to you and your well-being. I am a OBGYN nurse at Hopkins. I work on the labor and delivery and the postpartum units. When I was originally applying for jobs after college, I basically was applying to any city that I could have seen myself living in. And I had recently come to Baltimore and fell in love with Fells Point. Originally what I, I thought I personally wanted was to be fairly close to the hospital. I wanted a row home very similar to this. And walkability was the most important thing because for the first year and a half that I lived here, I didn't have a car. So I utilized some of the Facebook groups and JHU housing. There's a lot of good options and decided to get a realtor and like see some other properties while I was down here just to make use of the time. Whether you're searching from a distance or have traveled here for your own inspection, you'll benefit from the resources we've put together. For example, one of the features on our comprehensive website is a neighborhood contact list. These are Hopkins employees who volunteer to answer questions and share their experiences living in their area. Whatever you need help with, you'll find it here. When I actually decided to come to Johns Hopkins Med School, and then that's when I started seriously searching uh, and trying to understand the city. There's a lot of you know, nice restaurants nearby, a lot of nice stores. There's like two museums that are super close. Um, one of the largest libraries in Maryland is right here. I knew that it was not you know, walking distance from campus. So I was like, okay, what's another way to get there? Looked at all the shuttle routes, and it's you know truly just like a five-minute walk uh, right to that stop. You know, stand there for a few minutes. The shuttle will take you directly where you need to go, and then you can take it back. One of the things we have is uh, the, like they call it the Blue Jay shuttle. It's through this an app on your phone. But if you're in a specific region that includes the medical campus, all the way to up here, honestly, um, you can call an on-demand shuttle. You know, they'll give you an estimated time for it to arrive. It'll come and it'll take you right where you need to go. Whether you're planning to be in town near the East Baltimore campus, or north toward Mount Washington or Greenspring Station, or even east to Bayview, there's a network of shuttles that keeps you connected. There's also carpool matching, convenient public transportation, and if you prefer driving, there's also discounted parking available. Uh, I'm from Detroit, so I know what it's like to be from a city that has a reputation. And you know, there are definitely bad parts of Detroit, there, I'm sure there are bad parts of Baltimore as well, but you know, really, I think it's a matter of, you know, just being vigilant, keeping your head on a swivel, don't be out at 3 a.m. doing random stuff in a random spot. It's a city like all others. You're gonna have to use street smarts, you're going to have to be sensible. You're in neighborhoods that feel cozy. They have a lot of character. The buildings have character. The people you're meeting on the streets want to say hi to you. It's, it's a friendlier atmosphere, and I think that, in general, we get a bad rap. If you're coming to move to a city, you're going to experience safety the same way you're going to experience it in a lot of cities. Just as important as the look and feel of a new city is feeling safe and at home. We understand. So we partner with students and employees through a security force of more than 600 patrol officers posted in key areas inside and outside buildings 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A state-of-the-art communication center, which monitors a closed-circuit television network. And through the LiveSafe app, you can receive text alerts and notifications, share your location with safety officials in an emergency, and request escort services. Um, tips for newcomers. I would say Definitely look at the place you're gonna move into. Try to test out what your day might be. Take the walk to, to work or wherever you're gonna go and then walk back and see, is it safe? What's on the way? Is there a grocery store nearby? Is there like somewhere I can stop and get coffee or something like that? You know, try to like live it out as you're going through. I recommend to everyone I know to get a security system. I would recommend that in, in any city. My girlfriend in Raleigh has one in her you know, locked, secure, luxury apartment building. I think it's just an important measure for 
people to have these days. Moving to a new city can be as challenging as it is exciting. The Office of Student Housing and Services is here to help. We have a lot here. It's a fun city. Really fun.